Ever Alice by a H.J. Ramsey. So it's done in like three parts kind of thing. So um, one is Rabbit Hole, Rabbit Holes. Uh, part two, The Queen's Court, and part three, Queen Me. And it's kind of cool, like part one is like the Ace of Hearts. Part two is the Two of Hearts, and part three is Three of Hearts. So, the, like, brought that into the separation of the different sections. This is a YA novel, like, sort of a retelling of, like, I haven't actually really read through, like, Through the Looking Glass, but, like, this takes place after she comes out of, like, the rabbit hole in the first book. And her parents think she's gone, like, totally cuckoo bananas <laughs> with what, with, the, like, the stories and everything she tells. So, um, she is sent, um, into an asylum after, um, her retelling of Wonderland. So, you get an, um, kind of switch between Alice and Rosamund. Rosamund, the Queen of Hearts, and, like, later on, you kind of see, like, um, how the author kind of, like, um, puts the similarities between the two in certain ways, so, and the ending is, like, okay, yeah, see it now. Um, so, and you do, you do get some of the same characters, but when she goes back they take on different roles like the hatter he's not the mad hatter anymore he's like no don't i'm not the hatter i'm this knight under the queen kind of thing so like her parents send her to switzerland to get further treatment and so while she's going there, she kind of tunes back into Wonderland and how it, that's doing all the effects. And so you are looking at, at least with the version that I got, that I received through Night Alley at over 300 pages. And to me, I didn't really find it lagging in any way. And that's what, um, like, in a way, I was, like, almost expecting a little bit in the beginning. Because it is a chunky book, but how it's, like, to me, how it's written, there's not much of a leg. To some, there could be a whole lot of leg. And I, and I can agree that maybe a few parts could have been shortened or taken out or interpreted in a different way but to me it was a pretty good decent read if you are the one type of person who likes Alice in Wonderland and any kind of Alice retelling or after effects of her coming back so and if you really do like that what happened afterwards this interpretation this YA adaptation of of it could really be um, of an interest and like the mental health medical side of like the time she lived in could be also be of an interest to some and in how it takes place but yeah so a few different twists and turns on how she returns and then in a way stays there so yeah um ever alice by hj ramsey happy readings